Robert Eggerson is an excellent director. Oh look, here I am again, trying to make an argument for a horror film without having any idea how to talk about it without spoiling the entire thing. Here I am, at the crossroads of character study and aesthetic, unable to describe to people who hate horror films and or artsy films why these two artsy and or horror films are good, and why they should watch them. In tonight's double feature, I'm tasked with recommending two excellent works of art while having no ample words to express to you why. This was my problem with the Black Coat's Daughter review. Some movies can be described as, this is what happens, but there are others where what happens is only a fraction of what happens. There's the acting, the music, the cinematography, and when all those things align just right, then there's something more. Something metatextual. Everybody knows the raven. Once upon a midnight weary, as I pondered and blah blah blah, there was bird and said nevermore. Well, yes, but while you can spoil what happens in the raven, you can't spoil how it will make you feel. What will happen to your brain when you actually read or hear the words. How alone you feel when you read the last line and the story is over. How the words sweep through you. How you're suddenly aware of the wind outside the window. You can't spoil the topic of this video which is a haunting atmosphere. The truth is, I can't spoil what you're going to bring to or extrapolate from these films. It might be claustrophobia and cabin fever. It might be the poetic terror of American folklore. It might be the overwhelming feeling that the untamed wilderness of North America is big and evil. I can't spoil your own feelings in a movie focused on relationships between characters in the wake of the scariness of nature and rare bursts of gore. I can't spoil if you're going to look at these works as art or as, woo, that was scary, nice. I can't spoil if both. Tragically beautiful. Too spoopy. 10 out of 10, I'm going to throw up. We are no longer friends. How dare you show me this filth? I also can't spoil if anything I have said in this video makes any sense at all, or will encourage you to do anything, much less watch these film A's. I can only say that the Vivitch and the House are good. See you next time. <laughs>